Good morning, boys and girls, and welcome to today's children's message for November 14th, 2021, Unit 3, God Rescue, Session 4, God Changed Jacob from Genesis 25 to 33. Well, I'm so glad that you're here. I hope that you've all had a great week in spite of the windy and really rainy weather we've had. I know, you know, coming here today, it's been a high point of my week because we have an opportunity to learn more about God together. Over the past few weeks, we've had been working our way through the first book of the Bible, the book of Genesis. Who remembers what our big picture question is? Yes, that's right. Who is in control of everything? God is in control of everything in heaven and on earth. Nothing is outside of God's good plan. And we've learned a lot about God's good plan. We've, we've learned that God chose Abraham to be the father of, of great nations. God promised him a large family that would bless the whole world. Then we learned about Bethesdek a priest and a king who blessed Abraham and reminded us about Jesus, who is our high priest and perfect king. Last week, we learned about Abraham's faith to trust and obey God, even when he told him to sacrifice his, his son, Isaac. Thankfully, it was only a test, and God provided a ram for the sacrifice instead. But we learned about how Jesus really did die for us. And this week we'll learn about the family that Isaac had. Isaac had two sons, twins named Esau and Jacob. Today we learned about God's promise to use Jacob and focus on the ways God changed Jacob to prepare, prepare him to be part of God's plan. So this is, leads to our Bible story. God changed Jacob from Genesis 25 through 33. And we'll talk about this picture some more in a little bit. Now, Abraham's son Isaac grew up and, named, and married Rebekah. And Rebekah was pregnant. God told her she would have two boys. God said they will grow up and have families who will be two separate nations. One nation will be stronger than the other. And the older child will serve the younger. Rebecca gave birth to twins. And Esau was the one who was born first and then Jacob. And when they grew up and their father was, Isaac was old, Isaac wanted to bless Esau. Instead, Jacob tricked Isaac and stole his brother's blessings. And Esau was very angry. So Isaac and Rebekah sent Jacob away. One night, God spoke to Jacob. I am the God of your grandfather Abraham and the God of your father Isaac. I will give you and your offspring this land. And God made the same covenant with Jacob as he had made with, with Abraham. God said, I am with you and will be with you and watch over you wherever you go. And Jacob promised to follow God and, and honor him. And years passed. Jacob got married and had a family. And finally, Jacob took his family and all his possessions and headed home to Canaan. Jacob was afraid, though, because he was afraid of Esau. Would he still be angry at him? were stealing his blessing. He sent a large gift of animals to try to make Esau happy. Then that night, a man appeared to Jacob. The man wrestled with Jacob all night. That's where we get our picture today. And Jacob refused to give up. So the man injured Jacob's hip. I will not let go of you unless you bless me, Jacob said. Your name will no longer be Jacob, said the man. Your name will be Israel because you wrestled with God and man and you have won. The man blessed Jacob. Now Jacob went to meet Esau. 
Esau ran to Jacob and hugged him. He was not angry anymore. Esau returned home, and Jacob and his family traveled on, and Jacob bought land for them to live on. And Jacob was finally home in the land that God had promised him. So when we think about that, what are the applications for us today? Well, you know, sin couldn't stop God's plan. You know, Jacob often took matters in his own hand instead of trusting God and waiting for his timing, like he stole the blessing from, from Esau. And he also tricked Esau into giving him his birthright. But you know what? God worked his plan despite Jacob's sin. And the second thing is family problems couldn't stop God's plan. You know, Jacob's trickery and deceit ran in the family. And he ended up with many wives and, and a host of problems as a result of that. You know, he tricked he tricked Esau, and then when he went to marry, to marry, to, to get a wife and marry her, Laban the father tricked him to marrying Leah instead of Rebecca, instead of Rachel, and so he got tricked just because he had tricked too, and you know what? God was faithful despite of the, the dysfunction of Jacob's family. God's plan, even though. All these things happened, turned out the way God wanted it. But you know, the third thing that we need to remember is God's plan changes us. We think that we're doing what God want, God had, or we think we're doing it on our own, but God's plan changes us. God didn't just use Jacob and his family of sinners. God changed Jacob to make him the man God wanted him to be, using him and his plans to bless the world change Jacob's heart to be a different person which leads us to our Christ connection God changed Jacob's life and gave him a new name Israel Jacob had spent most of his life lying and cheating and stealing and he knew God's promises to his his father and grandfather and God reaffirmed that promise to Jacob but Jacob always tended to do things on his own plans on his own strength instead of trusting God and waiting on the Lord to do the things. So God worked in Jacob's life to help him see the beauty of humbly relying on God's power, especially when he went to live with his uncle Laban. God's plan hadn't changed for Jacob, but it, but because of all Jacob did, it was delayed. It was according to God's timing. He still wanted to use the family of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob to create a nation and bless the whole world. And through Jacob, or now Israel, a new nation was born. The 12 tribes were the descendants of Israel's 12 sons. And through the family of Judah, one of the sons, the promised rescuer was born thousands of years later. That was Jesus. Jesus came so that we can have a changed life, forgiven of sins. Jesus' death and resurrection pro provided sinful people the way to be adopted into God's family. No matter how what difficulties or evils we face, and no matter what sinful choices we make, God can work in our lives to turn everything for his glory and our good. All we have to do is to humbly accept his love. Some of you may think you and your family are too messed up for God, but there is nothing, nothing at all, nothing broken that God cannot fix and use for his plans. Just as Jacob clung to the man of God and was changed, we can cling to God to be changed. When we trust in Jesus, we also receive a new name. We are children of God. Just as Jacob couldn't earn God's favor, we can't either. But God still loves us and saves everyone who humbly turns from sin and asks for salvation from Jesus. Now let me show you something. I have two containers here of white 
kind of white and clear liquid. What, this is a glue liquid and this is a borax liquid. I'm going to mix these together. I'm hoping this is going to work. I didn't try it out ahead of time. But be patient with me while I stir this all up. And then I'm going to kind of drain some of the water out into this this container here. Well, let me move the spoon out. I bet most of you can guess what this is going to be. If you look into here, it's it's gooey and sticky, and it is. Uh, let me move it over. Ah, I should have brought a towel here. Let me move this over a little bit so you can see this. It is slime. We just made some slime. <laughs> let me put the slime to the side. Okay. You see we had two white mixtures here and they were pretty boring, right? But when I put it together, it made this sticky, gooey slime. And you know what? Once they were stuck together, it's, it's kind of like, it kind of reminds us of some ways to think about how God works in us. God clung to Jacob. No matter what sinful choices he made. And as a result, Jacob ended up Thing that he needed to cling to God too. As a result, God changed Jacob's heart and even his name. He was now Israel and he became the father of a new nation. <clears throat> and the, But you know what the most amazing thing was that um, was his plan to send Jesus. Jesus is God the Son. And he came to earth as a human to, to live a perfect life, to die the death we deserved, and to rise from the dead, to be sin forever. When we trust in Jesus, we are united to him, and we can never be separated from him. Oh, sorry. My notes are all getting all sticky here. Our salvation doesn't, de doesn't depend on us, but on God and his plans for us what could happen to us always. I was going to do the Bible verse, but I'm not going to be able to do that today. So let's, let's go ahead and pray. Father God, thank you for all the ways you bless us. Help us to cling to you for salvation. Thank you that our salvation isn't tied to our performance or ability to obey. Thank you for holding us tightly even when our spiritual grip begins to loosen. In your son's name, amen. Bye-bye, boys and girls. See you next week.